Hey teachers, here's a sample uppercase handwriting lesson that is sure to engage your students and improve their handwriting skills. Click the link in the description box below to check out the uppercase set I'm using in this video, or you can grab the complete handwriting curriculum bundle that teaches all lowercase and capital letters. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Hey, sweet friends, we are ready to practice another capital letter. It's uppercase G. This letter touches the skyline and sits on the grass line. It also crosses at the fence line. Let's take a look at where letter G starts. It starts on the star just below the skyline. So most capital letters start on the skyline, but letter G is a circle C letter, so it starts just below the skyline. Then it curves up to bump it and all the way around to the grass line and back up to the fence line. Now we make our line straight over on the fence line to finish our G. I want you to get your finger ready on the star to practice writing capital G in the air. Go ahead and curve up, circle around, and then over. Super. Let's try it one more time. Curve up, circle around, and over. Great job. You're ready to practice on your paper. We are ready to practice uppercase G. This is a circle C letter, so we start below the skyline, curve up all the way around like a C, but then we go to the fence line and then we go across. Go ahead and get your crayon or marker ready and we're gonna write capital G. Start at the star, curve up and touch the skyline all the way around down to the grass line, up to the fence line, and then over. Super job. Let's practice writing some more capital letter Gs. Start at the star, curve up, all the way around, sit on the grass line, back up to the fence line, and over. Let's do another one. Up and around, circle back down, up and over. Another one, start at the star, curve out and around, all the way up to the fence line and over. If I get ahead of you at any point in the video, remember you can always pause to catch up and then join me when you're ready. Let's make another G. Curve up, circle around, sit on the grass line, up to the fence line, and over. Last one on this line, curve around, down, up, and over. Down to the next line, start at the star, and curve up. Circle all the way around, down, up to the fence line, and straight over. Now one on our own. Start at the star and curve up and over, around and then up to the fence line and back over. That was awesome. Let's do another one. Curve around, curve up and over at the fence line. One more on our own. Curve up and over, around, back up and over. Now we're going to make lowercase g. It starts below the fence line and curves around, up and then digs down into the dirt with its tail. Now another capital G, start at the star, curve up and around, back up to the fence line, and over. We call these letters friends because they don't look that much alike. You are doing a great job. Now we're ready to practice writing capital G in some words. This says Google Go. He's got an iPad and he's ready to search for something on the internet. Let's write the G in Google, curve up, circle around, down to the grass line, back up to the fence line, and over. Now we're gonna make some O's. Circle all the way around and up. And again, circle around and close at the star. Now lowercase g circles around, up, and then down into the dirt. L drops down straight, E goes over, and then curves around and down to the grass line. Now for go. G curves up, circles around, sits on the grass, up to the fence, and over. I got off a little bit there, but that's okay. Just keep going. O circles around and closes. Let's go down to the next line. It says green grad. Well, it looks like he's getting ready to graduate kindergarten, and he's definitely green because he's a frog. Let's make our G circle around, sit down on the grass line, up to the fence line, and over. R slips down, up, and over. E goes across, curves up and around, and another E over, up and around. N slips down, slides up, over, and down, 
and then the G in grad. Curve up, circle around, all the way up and over. R goes down, traces back up and over. A circles around, up and back down. D does the same thing, but it goes all the way up to the skyline and then down. Now this next line says, Grandpa Gabe. He looks like a nice grandfather. We're gonna write the G for Grandpa. Go ahead and start at the star and we're gonna curve up and touch the skyline, circle around, up and then over. R slips down, up and over. A circles around, up and down. N slips down, up, over and down. D circles around, all the way up to the skyline and back down. P slips down into the dirt, up and circles around. And then another A, circle around, up and down. Now for Gabe. G curves up, circles around, up to the fence line and over. A circles around, up and back down. B goes down, traces back up, over and around. And E goes over and curves up and around. Awesome job. Now on to our last word. It's goat. That's a pretty cute goat with a flower in his mouth. Let's write that capital G. Start at the star and curve around and then up to the fence line and over. O circles around and closes. A goes around, up to the fence line and down. T drops down and then crosses at the fence line. I hope you're ready to explore these capital G's and look very closely and see if we can find the ones that were written correctly. Let's look at this first one. It does look like a G, but they didn't start in the right spot. They started down here at the fence line and curved up and around, and then they didn't go up far enough. That one doesn't look right. This next one looks okay, but it's just a little too short. It doesn't touch the skyline or the fence line, and it doesn't quite sit on the grass line. How about this one? It curves up and around and straight over on the fence line. That looks super awesome to me. What about this one? It curves up and around and over at the fence line. That one looks pretty good too. This next one looks, well, what's going on? They curved around, but then they picked up their pencil and made the mark across the fence line going the wrong way. This one curves up, circles around and in. That one looks great, let's color it in. What about this one? It does curve around, but it keeps curving at the fence line. It almost looks like a spiral or a number six. This one goes up too high and then down and then up above the fence line right there. That one doesn't look right. This one curves up, circles around and in at the fence line. That one looks wonderful. You did a spectacular job practicing uppercase G with me. I want you to take some time to practice on your own and then I will see you when we have our next uppercase handwriting lesson.